they work the same as a piano, but the reason there are three keyboards, or they're called manuals, is um, just to help divide the different sounds that you, can, that you have on the organ so you can play um, you know, two different sounds at the same time. Uh. One of the challenges of playing any organ is that no two are identical. So uh, each time an organist goes to a new instrument, it involves getting to know that instrument's capabilities and its limitations. Uh, here, it's unusually difficult because the organist plays from the balcony and the organ is suspended from the ceiling of the room. Um, if I wanted to take advantage of having two different manuals here, I can play two different sounds. And then, you know, you can make it quite brilliant like this. And quite full. This organ is very unusual. It was the design of architect Paul Thierry when the chapel was built in the late 1960s. Paul Thierry's design for a circular organ suspended from the top of a conical ceiling was highly unusual and produced incredibly difficult design challenges to organ builders. Several builders were approached by the college who turned down the opportunity to build the instrument. What is unique about the sound of this organ is that the pipes are uh, around the circle of a, of a bucket and that means that this sound is reflected from the ceiling of the chapel down to the floor and back up again. A more conventional installation of an organ has it in one location with the pipes speaking directly to an audience instead of indirectly through our ceiling here. Yes, knowing about this organ was one of the reasons that I was uh, attracted to Lewis and Clark. Uh, and uh, it is one of the most unusual instruments in the country, if, if not the world.